What's up, friends? This is Money, and welcome to a new video here. And oh my god, I sound so terrible, but I need to record a video. And uh, <laughs> what I've gotten here for you guys today is we're making a Dagon robot with 200 defense points. Jesus, I feel like I should stop talking. Oh man, I'm still sick, and I feel not very well. But I think what's really stopping <laughs> is that my voice is just completely destroyed. Maybe this video should have no commentary. <clears throat> so, anyways, we're running the Armadillo drone on the Dagon robot with the completely broken Tamer and um, Tamer weapon. One or two tricksters. I think this first video has two tricksters. Second video has, or second match, has uh, only one, which I think is probably the better version to do it. Um, and every kill we get is uh, 10 resistance points, right? So we, I think we already gotten two, right? And you see these weapons are, this is just not okay. I really, I, I'm really not happy with the way that these, that the game develops every time with new weapons. And I just don't know why it has to always be so game breaking. So he's trying to escape. <laughs> Sorry, my friend, but that is not going to happen. There's a scorpion. Is he gonna teleport back? Yeah, okay. That Scorpion is gonna play a bit, a bit of a role here in this video, I think. Uh, we're gonna see him <clears throat> uh, later. I think he's gonna jump on me too. So see, I shot... Yeah, yeah. there's one of them. But I think there's two Scorpions. And he was barely able to deal damage to me because I already have like 60 resistance points. And, and this is just the beginning, right? We're gonna reach... Spoiler! 21 kills in the first match and 20 kills in the second match and you can calculate that it's 200 or 210 um, resistance points simply added through the armadillo drone uh, and and that is crazy because the, the, the dagon robot already has so much shield that you have to drop first right and if you shield break the da dagon normally you should be dying very quickly but uh, um, when you have 200 resistance points, it's like a titan. There's no more, no more dying quickly. So this guy is shield breaking me and he's actually doing some noticeable damage. <clears throat> and when I shoot him, obviously I do a lot of damage to myself. Because I reflect the damage back to me when I shoot him. Uh, however, I think with the next battleship, I might be able to heal back up. Right now even overdrive is running, so... 300% damage boost kicking in. Everything dies instantly. Almost nothing can survive one clip. This is just not okay. And this at 600 meters range with perfect accuracy. Yeah, the battleship shield uh, the, the battleship shield filled me up in health. And then we already have oh, another scorpion. And that's good. Every time the face shift when I use phase shift, mostly the scorpions just teleport away. I have a peppermint tea here. It helps me. <clears throat> Alright. So that Indra type, look. That was like half the Indra. And then it was also the rest of half the, uh, the Rav Ravana in one clip. I just quick swapped the target. And the Ravana also completely died. Uh, and the uh, Indra took like 50% damage or so. That is so sick. Look at this. He just survived because he used his transcendence mode. That's just nuts. And this is just light weapons. Yeah, it's six of them, but it's just light weapons. <clears throat> and the problem is that the medium weapons being used, for example, on Orokochi, uh, they just break the game even more because Orokochi itself is, is so insane. I will show you a video about this coming up where title When Manny Uses Orokochi. You won't believe what I'm doing in this video, it's crazy. i uh, also destroying other Orokochis in mass numbers, just... Just brain, brain, just steamrolling the whole map. It's insane. Freaking Orokochi is just still a, pre, uh, a beast and ridiculous. The Dagon is also ridiculous, but at least it can be killed very fast if you shield break it. <clears throat> or if more than one person shoots him, and the shield goes down, then typically the Dagon can die very quickly. That's something that doesn't happen to an Ovokochi. 
<clears throat> Even though the firepower on the Dagon is probably higher than the one on the Okokochi. Oh man, I sound so bad. I, I hope you guys are still able to enjoy this video, uh, despite the terrible um, quality of commentary this time around. But I can't have a Saturday without a video. And I unfortunately didn't have so many videos pre-produced that I can just, you know, be sick for four days or so uh, and not make any more videos. It also seems like I'm getting every kill in this in this video. All right, of course, while I say it, <laughs> this one I didn't get. Here, 21 kills, that's 210 defense points. <clears throat> um, of course, most of the time people just shoot into my shield and they just die too fast to even go further uh, than my shield. But in this video, I think we're also gonna get shot a little more. I just got a kill with a dot effect from the one trickster. It's so crazy. Second kill already, like 10 seconds into the video, already got 10 to two kills or so. It's insane. This angler survives for a few seconds. Triple kill. And that was an assist. How? Rifle? Somebody killed him with a drone? Okay. The drone shot killed it from somebody and it wasn't my drone. Okay. What are the chances that after like unleashing a million DPS, he dies from a rifle throw? That seems so impossible. <clears throat> All right, so see, even even Fenrir's and everything just dies in one salvo. Nothing can survive one clip. How is this okay, Pixonic? That's a Lancelot right there. Oh yeah, I remember this. That was the guy. There was a guy who sent multiple Lancelots in with jump units. Here, another one. And I even didn't want to fight the Lancelot guy anymore. Because I felt like it's it's so cool to see somebody using Lancelots, but eventually I choose him as a target and really see I'm targeting everything else first. I didn't want to shoot the Lancelot because I just respected it so much that he's running the old Lancelot here in this Meta Champions League. But eventually I do have to shoot him because the Lancelot does have some firepower if you allow him to shoot you. And I had a goal in this video, I can't die. If I die here, the whole point of the, the match will be lost and I can I can start re-recording from scratch. Because I needed uh, to accumulate this many kills for this video, you know? So, feeling sorry for killing that Lancelot there. Uh, I feel like older robots should really get some boosts. They should be the ones al allowed to carry these new weapons and the new robots that are already broken and ridiculous without them they should not be able to use the new weapons but that would be a, a, a perfect world in and, and it doesn't exist not in the mobile gaming industry <clears throat> very unfortunate oh man all my energy goes down the drain I'm sleeping almost not I'm almost not sleeping at all right now I'm just waking up all the time being all scratchy throat and uh, coughing and <clears throat> but thankfully at least I had the gameplay for this already gathered so um, I played this four days ago or so maybe three uh, and so the gameplay was already there but no commentary and the commentary is really the stupidest thing to record right now for me all right so that was half a clip killing this guy in one hit He's face shifting, smart. I'm reloading in his face shift, that's also smart. Uh, and now he gets another stealth off. The Lynx is really, really, really not an easy free kill. Never has been. Because uh, he has a lot of stealth. And by the way, guys, face shift is the new meta. In case you haven't noticed, every robot I'm running now is having face shift. Even the invader has face shift. I'm not running healing anymore because healing doesn't work in the Champions League anymore because those stupid, complete, broken, overpowered, stupid, ridiculous weapons not only do way too much damage at way too much range, way too accurately and fast but also they prevent healing with the rust effect to the point where you're getting nothing so what you can do though 
you can face shift when you feel it, when you feel getting shot by them. And then you won't even accumulate any of those shots. When you begin to face shift right when the first shots come in, and, uh, and you save yourself all the trouble. And that's why the face shift is the new meta in War Robots now. All right, so uh, thank you guys for watching. I hope you have a much better Saturday than I do. And I'll catch you in the next video. Manny signing off. Bye-bye.